So in this question, we're looking at correlation and association. And we're looking at exercise three on integral mass. It's the A level stats section. And we're looking at question one. Question one says the table gives the altitude in meters above sea level and the mean air temperature Y in, in degrees for 10 weather stations. And then it gives you a grid of data and it says draw a scatter diagram for this data. So I'm sure in the exam they're not going to ask you to do uh, like exactly like this. They probably have the grid and you just fill in a few points um, and you might just fill in bits and pieces. Then it says uh, calculate the mean values of X and Y and then put them on the diagram. And then also it says later on calculate the correlation coefficient from a calculator. And because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the data in in one go and that will give me the mean value. Okay, so it's regression. So I'm going to use number six and I'm doing the two and I've got to put all this information in. You might to take it nice and slowly. You don't want to make silly mistakes and I tend to make silly mistakes, especially if I'm trying to uh, talk and do this at the same time. So I just take it very carefully. You know, what you can also do is every time you take a number, you mark it off on the sheet that you've done that. The beauty of using a calculator like this, of course, is you can always go back over and see if you've made a mistake. Okay. I will say, um, the problem with this calculator, if you've got eyes like mine, um, sometimes you can't actually see bits and pieces very easily when they give you the results. So now I just went back to the Y values, put the Y values in, and you can see how this is. Tapping away. Uh, 9.4. 8.7 and finally 7.5. Now already I can see from here that's a negative correlation. We need to find the value, the mean of x and the mean of y. So once I've done that, I then go to options and I do 4 and that will give me the regression line minus point, the co coefficient. But what about the other calculation? So if I go to 2 variable and check that one out, I've got my x bar 107.6 but what I've done is I've looked at I put sigma x over 10 to indicate what I'm doing just in case I make a typo and if I scroll down I should get to my y as well good you can see here the mean of y is 9.42 so I've got the mean of y and the mean of x you then locate that on the point there label it and then make sure your line of best fit goes through that point that has to go through the mean okay it doesn't have to go through all the other points but it has to go through that and they'll put a template over this to see your line goes well but they would expect it to go through x bar y bar calculate the correlation coefficient well as you said option number four it tells me what it is so I have that and actually I've got here <coughs> the regression line as well y equals a plus bx so I can put those values in here you have to be very careful the b here is times 10 to the minus 3 and it's pretty hard to see and so therefore I've got the regression line it's interesting enough with this question it says from your diagram estimate an equation so even though I've got the calculator here it seems odd so what I'd have to do is go back to GCSE maths locate two points that are on the line like this and then look at the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x that gives me the gradient and then estimate where it cuts the y-axis boom it seems a really odd one when actually I've got the data there already so I'm, I'm not sure about how that would work um, but that's what I get there and then it says estimate the mean air temperature at places 200 meters and at 450 so there's two ways to do this one is to go from up here and across and this is a, a, a way of doing it um, but you can do it this way and you get a fair estimate now obviously on my diagram it's pretty hard to see <laughs> 8.7 um, 
or you put it into your formula and you get out a slightly more accurate one. That's one way of doing it. Okay. Well, that's the two ways of doing it, rather. And then the next one is this 450. Now, I can't do 450 because the data ends there. The data ends there. So 450 is the data is extrapolated, and I can't. I have to do. I can't actually say what will happen. You have to be really cautious with that. So therefore, I'm not going to give an estimate. I mean, I could. If I was really nervous, I could put 450 in. But I'm going to explain here why I'm not doing that. And that's really what they want to see. So hopefully that has helped you understand how to do that question.